Isa sa mga important traits ng isang manufacturer ay yung abilidad nilang makinig sa mga rider sa mga pangangailangan nila sa isang motor. Ang pag-intindi sa market can spell success or failure sa isang produkto. Welcome to Makina Moto Features. Ito po yung bagong Suzuki Bergman Street EX. Jumps in a wake up at you Think that's pretty clever Don't you both Flying on your motorcycle Watching all the ground beneath you drop you Kill yourself for recognition Kill yourself to never Noong unang lumabas yung Bergman Street, maraming nagulat at natuwa nang dahil ang Bergman ay yung premium line ng Suzuki sa mga scooters nila. And then all of a sudden, ginawa nila itong accessible para sa lahat. Bergman is a high-end line for Suzuki. And kagandahan nito, walang kinalaman po ang price sa ranking. Rather, yung Bergman Street ay nakapresyo ng ganun only because of engine size and power. And overall, it's just more cost-effective to make. So hindi siya the lesser of all the Bergmans, but rather it is the best Bergman sa class na ito. So imagine mo, di ba, each category ng Bergman na palaki ng palaki, lahat yon yun yung the best nila per category. Now, sa pinakamaliit nilang variant, naglagay pa sila ng mas premium pa na alok na street. And this is the Bergman Street 125 EX Executive Class. One of the areas na criticized ng mga tao sa unang labas na Bergman ay yung size ng rear wheel neto. Masyado daw maliit and hindi daw proportioned. Kung napanood nyo yung video ko noon, you know, this didn't really bother me at gumawa pa ako ng EA or Aided's Analogy. <laughs> And despite that, as sales would go, marami pa rin bumili ng Bergman Street and it is one of Suzuki's good-selling bikes. In fact, I still have my Bergman and I use it a lot. Pero this time around, gaya ng pinost ko sa Makina Moto Show last April, eto na, rekta na, mas malaki na ang gulong sa likod ng bagong Bergman Street EX at 12 inches. Nagpalak pa ka mga tao. Some highlights, we have the all-new air-cooled 125cc SEP or SEP Alpha engine packed with 8.5 horses and it is capable of dishing out 10 newton meters of torque. Transmission po natin ay CVT. We have the engine auto stop start system and silent starter system. Suspension sa harap, meron tayong telescopic coil spring that is oil damped. Suspension sa likod, swing arm po tayo, also oil damped. Brakes natin sa harap ay disc, sa likod naman ay drum brakes. Timbang niya ay nasa 112 kilos. Fuel injected tayo and meron tayong both kick and electric start. Fuel tank capacity nasa 5.5 liters. Now, according to the WMTC or World Motorcycle Test Cycle, this can do 52.6 kpl. Napakatipid. So isang full tank mo, kaya natin mag 289.3 kilometers sagad sa garan hanggang maubos ang reserba mo. Depending of course on your driving habits and body weight. Now realistically speaking, mga 265 kilometers or 270 kilometers magpagas ka na. Here we go. It is the 2023 Suzuki Bergman EX recently launched of course sa Makina Moto Show. And we are excited nung ito ay lumabas. Hot cake ang standard version ng Bergman which is that's actually a new color. Sorry, pinasigit ko na rin. Natutuwa ako sa kulay niyan. That's the standard version. It's 10,000 pesos cheaper. And then this one is their their higher model which is more expensive by a very affordable 10,000 pesos too. So, Arigato gozaimasu! Ohayo gozaimasu! What is on everybody's mind mm. is what are the differences between the old and the new. This is the new Bagman Street EX. We are running side by the side with uh, uh, our old Bagman. The difference from the another variant, the first one is a bigger rear tire size, which changed to be a 12 inch tire from the 10 inch. We received so many opinions from the market, a lot of concern in the market for adjust more smooth running. 
Okay. Ano, we changed to be a bigger uh, hoil size. The tires natin sa likod or the wheels are now the same as what we have in front. So compared to the older one which was smaller and uh, some of the customers preferred bigger ones. Ito si Suzuki, nakikinig sa customer and there you have it. But frankly, I'm still saying the smaller tires for the standard Bergman is fine. I have a Bergman myself. I use it all the time. Hindi mo na problema dahil mas yung gulong. But for those who want the bigger wheel, well, here you go. Did the bigger tire or bigger wheel at the rear affect the acceleration? Because it's a bigger gear, in essence. It is affected, but uh, we also changed the setting of the engine as well. Ah. So that's why our data showed that uh, the power or torque is still the same. Okay. With the old Magnum. You tune the, the engine, torque is the same. And I noticed when I was riding it, the stability, mm. because it's a bigger tire, it's yeah. there too, right? That's true, that's true. So, an advantage natin with bigger tires, of course, pag mas malaki yung wheels mo, generally speaking, your handling and your stability is much, much better. It's also safer with bumps here and there. So, it will depend on your application. Are there other differences? We also try to implement the enhanced technology, such as idling stop. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, of course, this will uh, affect very good for the fuel efficiency. Anything else you added? Silent starter. Oh, okay. Okay, it's quieter when you're starting it up. Yes, that's right. That's right. This is also, how can I say, one of the points that we want to offer to the market to be more comfortable and friendly to other neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's very thoughtful. Yeah. They have Suzuki Eco Performance Alpha na engine, and you only find this engine pag yung unit I may idle stop, which is here. Idle stop when traffic is bad, automatically umamata yung engine natin to conserve fuel. And para umandar, ta throttle mo na lang siya, aandar na rin siya. And what I've noticed also, it's pretty smooth compared to other idle stops or, or stop and go systems that I have tried. Some are a bit on the rough. This is actually very, very smooth. And I think it's also in line dun sa meron kasi silang silent start also. I'll give you a demo right now so you can hear. Look at how quiet it is. See, that's pretty quiet. One more time. Right? That's very, very quiet. So that's part of what we have here. SEP, Suzuki Eco Performance Alpha Engine. It comes with that silent start, idle stop system. Also, one more thing. Yeah. The, uh, our speedometer, digital panel, is bigger than existing one. Oh, uh, bigger too. Yeah. Uh, easy to show to customer or more easily on the display on it's the more it's, it's more visible yeah that's right Let's take a look at the gauge this is um, a different gauge it's bigger now we got more information when you hit the uh, just average consumption meron na dyan. if you hit the top you're gonna see your trip a and trip b and then back to your odometer to quickly look our gauge here with the standard one it is as you see smaller so, mas malaki yung nakikita natin dito. What we have here, sa lalagyan ng Yossi, meron na po tayong USB port as opposed to yung Yossi sa dati, right? So, that's a plus. In terms of capacity and space, I will ask you to also watch my previous feature on the standard Bergman because it's identical in terms of the space, in terms of the U-Box, and the, what we have here, sinabates na natin and all of that. And I must commend Suzuki with what they did with the floorboard. No matter what color from the standard that's black to what they have here at brown, it's still really, really, really nice. Metallic bronze, it's like a metallic type of brown, but it, you can see it in person. I don't know if looking at it through the video, will give justice to the color but for me pag in eyeball mo versus what i see on screen mas maganda siya makita in person as i noticed it's a two-tone scheme with a seat dark and then you have brown here with the one that we see here which is next to me it is one tone still nice at least with this color foam and comfort it's all there in terms of how they put the black chrome po tayo dito as i understand the first release of the bergman with the standard one was also chrome this one is now chrome and this one is now black with this color. Wish list ko lang sana nagkaroon sila ng gantong kulay dito sa model na ito. <laughs> Parang ano you know, lagi lang tayo nagde-request sa manufacturer. Sana ganto, sana ganto. But it's a really nice color. I mean, mapapaisip ko eh. Moonstone gray is what they call this. Apart from that, ating busina. Meep 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 meep. Our lights LED na agad. That's good. Our signal. 
regular bulbs for the signal light. So there are a lot of pluses in terms of uh, the difference. Again, this is not a replacement for the first Bergman that came out. This is actually another variant of the Bergman. The original Bergman priced 10,000 cheaper. It's still out in the market kung yan ang type mo. And then if you wanna up the ante a bit, you have the Bergman Street EX. Arigatou gozaimasu! Arigatou gozaimasu! Ohayou gozaimasu! Go! Okay. Go! The rear is not fishtailing as much as the other variant of the Bergman. So because of the bigger tire and wheel at the back, it's stopping better at the rear. Good with both brakes now. Good braking. Good braking. Colors, we have the very nice Bergman Bronze FA, very executive looking if you ask me. And of course, the Bergman Matte Black. Pero ang wish ko sana sa EX line, sana magkaroon din po sila ng blue-gray metallic. Yung lumabas dun sa Street 125. Kasi yon for me, para sa akin yung kulay na yun, yun executive talaga. Walang perfectong motor. Although as it is with everything the EX has to offer, syempre tulak pa tayo ng konti para talagang as riders, we can get more out of this variant. For the brakes, since yung harap natin disc na, sana maglabas sila ng ABS sa harap in the future variants. Diba? Naka-disc na eh. I-ABS na natin. Tapos yung likod naman, since from drum brakes na siya, gawin na nilang disc. I mean for now, syempre we would want ABS harap likod, diba? Pero baka naman ang laking talo na ng presyo nun. Now again, take note, since mas malaki na yung gulong natin sa likod, hindi na siya prone to fishtailing as compared to the older Street 125. Mas malaki yung gulong eh, so mas mahirap hintuin. So hindi siya basta-basta nagla-lock. Ergo, it's actually safer. And last but not least, pero I must admit, medyo kapritsohan na ito, I'd really like to see more TFT displays sa mga small displacement bikes natin. Nagsimula yan sa mga big bikes eh, pero as the years go by, um, as early back as 3-4 years ago, unti-unti na siya nagtitrickle down sa mga smaller displacement bikes. Kasi pag yung EX naka-TFT display na, and hopefully hindi ganun kalaki yung itatas ng presyo, eh yun na yun, talagang super executive ka na nun. At 92,400, you get the Bergman badge in a smaller package with all the changes incurred and upgrades from the Street 125 considering. Here we have, actually, another killer offering from Suzuki. Sa mga allergic sa maliliit na gulong, eto na ang sagot ng Suzuki. Like what I said sa simula ng video na ito, listening and considering what the market wants and needs is a very important trait for any brand. And it's good that we see Suzuki display this character time and time again. Eto po si Sir Sack the Makina Moto features and the next is having Ciao